Homegirl said the wig look a little fake. <laughs> because you know what? You ain't had to call me out like that, friend. Your wig, it don't move. It don't move. Your wig, it need work. It need work. She said, hunty, ma'am, friend, you ain't gonna have no hair. Can't have no ashy hands. We not doing that today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am April Sunny. On this channel, we discuss all things hair care, skin care, we chit chat, and there is some makeup sprinkled in. But today, you guys, I am going through my comment section, looking at your comments and answering some questions. So if that is something you would like to see, then just keep on watching. The wig look good. What's the brand and model and where did you buy it? Thank you. Um, the wig, so just in case some of you don't know what wig she's talking about, I am going to put, I don't know. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. So this is the brand, this is the make, all that good stuff. And on the back, it says skywigs.com. Can y'all see that? Girl, girl. And it was just a bad decision and a waste of money because honey, honey, it's so freaking hot. I went to the supermarket, even in the freezer section, I was burning up. I was like, is this what menopause feels like? Because I, I feel like I am burning from the inside out. When I say, after I got them groceries in the car and I sat in the car, before I even turned the car on, that wig got snatched off. And I was like, you know what? Uh-uh. Somebody, <laughs> somebody responded to her and said, pretty wig, but it looked a little fake. It needed to be plucked and hot comb. Yes, ma'am, you are right. Home girl was like, yo, wig, it don't move. It don't move. Yo, wig. Any work, any work. <laughs> However, period, dot, comma, question mark. It wasn't happening. <laughs> I was too hot. I had too many things to do. See, that's why I'm not natural. If I don't have the patience to pluck a wig and hot comb a wig, what y'all think I'm going to do with my natural hair? I appreciate this comment. Homegirl said the wig look a little fake. I know, that's why I put it back on my head. But thank y'all for y'all comment. Uh, Maria Christopher said, you look a little like the singer Brandy. Thanks for the tips. You know what? I have gotten that comparison since I was in middle school. And when I was in middle school, I avoided wearing braids because I really thought Brandy looked like an alien. And I didn't think she was pretty at all when I was in middle school. But little did I know, baby girl was beautiful. When I when I got older, when I got in high school, I was like, Brandy is it. Like, what was I thinking in middle school? Like, thank you for the comparison, girl. I'll take it any day. Sure will. Love Toys said, I can vouch for the lock method. My hair stays moisturized for days. Don't it, though, girl? Don't it. I'm telling y'all, y'all better get on that lock method. Hello, April. Is it possible for low porosity hair to become high porosity after relaxing? <clears throat> low porosity hair can change to high porosity hair when using a chemical relaxer or a chemical of any kind, like dyeing your hair, all that good stuff. This lady said, my favorite oils are grease and grease. <laughs> I know that's right. Girl, how about... I was thinking about buying some grease and just to test it out. Like, no, I do, do not want my um hair to be weighed down or nothing like that. So I will I'll, I would try it on like protective styles and stuff. <laughs> but you know what? A lot have a lot of people have been going back to grease. If you put in moisture into your hair and you're sealing it with grease and it works for your hair, why not? Knock yourself out, boo. I am high porosity natural and even more so since I've been rocking color. Thick conditioner with hot head heating cap has been a game changer. My favorite oils are grapeseed and rosehip. I'm with you on that one, girl. 
I'm with you on that one. I think for low porosity hair, high porosity hair, normal, it don't matter what type of porosity hair. If you are sitting under a heated cap, your hair is going to soak up so much moisture and it will hold. So waiting for your low porosity hair tips. I actually did a video on low porosity hair. I'll link the video down below. Okay, Sammy. Kissy lips, cherries, kissy face, okay? Question, my hair is already relaxed. Is it okay to dye it? Um, Sammy, what type of dye are you trying to put on your relaxed hair, Sammy? It really depends on the condition of your hair. If you're trying to use a developer, use a low lev a low volume developer. Um, and you're still running the risk. I'm just gonna put that out there. You're still running the risk, but it has been done. You cannot go too light because your hair will fall out your head. If you're talking about um, a deposit color just for richness and shine and tone, that type of stuff, like a semi or demi, go for it, knock yourself out. Any bleach, leave the bleach alone. Walk away, not your friend. Walk away from her, Sammy. So I hope I hope you're watching this. Bye, Sammy, kissy lamps, cherries, kissy face. Keep it cute. She says, not Kenya more hair care. Yes. She killed me in that scene when she walked into Marlo's shop. <laughs> that was the, sh I'm telling y'all, that was the shadiest clip of Real Housewives of Atlanta, like, period. I ain't gonna lie, I do like her products. Sorry, my love. Y'all funny. And how often do you relax your hair and get touch-ups? Touch okay, so I do that four times a year. However, um, I've been trying in the last past two years to only do it three times a year, skipping my winter relaxer and just doing a, a, a touch up spring, summer and fall and then doing a winter stretch. However, I'm, I've had to switch that this year and do my stretch during the summer, which I really do not like to do, y'all. But anyway um so i will be getting my winter relaxer this year to answer your question normally four times a four times a year but thank you for your question miss mercy hey girl <laughs> i love when people text the way they speak because i do that too i just feel like i found my tribe here on youtube i love you guys thanks for the skincare routine what is what the serum brand, please. This is your fan. Okay, Um, let me grab the serum. Okay, friends, so listen, when I buy my vitamin C, I'm not going into these other like high price stores. I'm not paying a lot of money for my vitamin C. So I normally go to Marshall's and find a vitamin C. The brand is called YK10, Vitamin C Anti-Aging Face Serum. If I can find this on Amazon, I am going to post it below. I'm going to leave the link below for you. Angel Eyes 83 girl, girl. <laughs> oh my God, you said rag instead of towel. Took me back to fond memories of my grandmother. <laughs> girl, you hang around me. I say, I say all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> and don't even be realizing I'm saying it. I mentioned this. I saw this when I did my, um, like right before I did my skincare routine and I didn't respond to it right away and then I couldn't find it. Well, now, now I found it. So, but it's been, it's been a week or so. So hopefully you watching this Miss Angel Eyes 83 because you know why you ain't had to call me out like that friend. Ooh, talk about, I remind you of somebody granny. You're what, girl. But thank you for watching Miss Angel Eyes 83 because you know what? I see you, girl. I see you. You always be commenting. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. It's people like you that make doing YouTube worth it because y'all don't understand the amount of work that goes into making these videos, editing these videos, and still trying to run a household, still trying to do your regular job. Like You really got to love YouTube to do YouTube period can i relax my hair if it's already heat damaged i've been contemplating this for a while
friend don't want no hair. Oh, Sheila. Sheila said, I think she meant only if, but it says, only if you want to go bald, go see a licensed cosmetologist so they can restore and strengthen back your hair. And then they go on in back and forth in the conversation. See, these types of the message threads, I do not get involved because Miss Sheila handled that one, okay? She said, hunty, ma'am, friend, you ain't gonna handle hair. This is what people don't understand. Whatever state your hair is in, once you put a chemical on top of that, it is going to further damage your hair. Is there a bullhorn? Don't, don't. Miss Sheila handled it. She handled it. So I don't need to respond to that one. I don't get in conversations like that. I don't. I just, I see the comments and I let it, I let it go. Cause somebody else is already, y'all talking about it. I don't want to hop in the pool. Y'all helping each other out and I appreciate it. And I love seeing that. Okay. Love seeing it. I think I want to, um, I want to do one more comment. She said, love your videos. Thank you, girl. I be doing it for you. I be doing it for y'all. I tell you, I do. Love your videos. I do have one question. I watch several YouTubers that are licensed cosmetologists and I'm a little confused. A couple say not to moisturize and seal your hair. Wait, ha, 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 what? Ha. Let me back it up. A couple say not to moisturize and seal. You are clogging your pores. They are saying when you shampoo and use a conditioner, your hair will be moisturized enough until your next wash. I see you and a few others do moisturize and seal. I have low porosity hair. I just want to know your thoughts on the topic. Come through with the questions though. Come through. I think I'm gonna do a summer wind down q and I love this question. Okay, boom. And I got pictures to go with this. Cause you know, I got my cosmetology book handy, hun. Hold on. I totally, to a certain point, agree with those other cosmetologists. I do somewhat agree with them. We do produce sebum. And I'll put like an illustration here. Who's the standard here? Who this working for here, okay? Just keep that in mind. We do produce sebum that should moisturize our scalp and thus our hair because the sebum is supposed to move down our strands. Just in case you are unfamiliar with what sebum is. Sebum is the fatty or oily secretion of the sebaceous glands, which lubricates the hair and the skin. So I do agree with them. And if you guys take notice, I always say that first week after I have a fresh shampoo and blow dry, I do not have to moisturize and seal my hair like that. I use a little bit of oil, wake my hair up a little bit, give it some shine, you know, give it some luster. I don't have to do much to my hair post wash day. If I have a dry spot, I'll put a little, little, little bit of oil just on that dry spot work it in and go for us most of us shampoo and deep condition every two weeks sometimes three weeks sometimes once a month okay in that case we have to because it doesn't last you got to understand the beauty standard and what is put in these cosmetology books is for white people they were the beauty standard in making this book. They didn't care about how often black people was washing their hair and they, they, they don't care about that, okay? So think about it this way. Well, the beauty standard is for white people. So their next wash day is the next day or every other day or every three days. They're now just understanding, oh, these black people was on to something. They wash their hair once a week. We're going to wash our hair once a week too. And it's working for them because you're not supposed to strip your hair as much as they do. So keep in mind when they say you are able to get to your next wash day without moisturizing and sealing your hair, that's where that standard is coming from. When we're natural, our hair is curly, coily, kinky. That sebum's not getting down that strain. It's just not. It's not going to get down that strain. Okay. Um... When we're relaxed, 
yeah, our hair is straighter, but our hair is chemically dry. So by the time that sebum gets even just a little bit down further, it's not going all the way down. So in my opinion, that first week, yes, our hair can hold a lot of moisture and it does depend on the products you use. You have to use the right products for your hair so your hair can hold and retain that moisture from your deep conditioner that first week. Coming into that second week, you are going to need to moisturize and seal your hair. That sebum's not getting down all the way down your hair. It's, it's not. We're we not built like that. That was so much fun. I love reading you guys' comments. I love when you are just your authentic self. Like, don't take life so serious where you can't take, you know, constructive crit criticism or joke. Like, I am the most goofiest person. If you ever met me in person, if y'all see me in person, speak. I know I am a, listen, check, check this out. I am a earth sign, so my face is fixed. It don't move. Okay, but that don't mean I'm in a bad mood, okay? Come say hi, girl. Come say hi. Hey, girl, hey. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this channel. And until the next time, be love.